Let's see how much money we can make with $10 at the thrift store. I'm gonna show you how to flip them, how to price them, and the potential profit of these items that we got today. These three frames were a dollar for all three. And the first one we're gonna do is this gray one. And it's actually in really good condition and it is wood. So I'm going to put a transfer on it. And all I did was I cut out um, a piece of mixed media paper and that's what I used to transfer the transfer to. I'm then going to take my brown ink and I'm gonna age this a little bit because I do want it to look vintage. That's, that's kind of the style that I like to do. So I'm just taking my ink pad and I'm just running it over. Now all of the products that I'm using here today can be found on my website, iwanttocraft.com, but I will also link the blog that has all of the information below this video. Now pricing is relative to your area. In my area, I could sell this complete at probably $15. So 50 cents in, a little bit for the transfer, and I've got a profit about $14. So I painted this one in white swan and now I'm adding the pink just to highlight the accents that are already on the frame and we're going to paint that up. I'm going to wax this one and I'm also going to add a transfer as well from the ephemera transfer set. So this one didn't have any sheet in it so I used uh, the mixed media paper again. I framed it out, cut it out and this is so adorable. I love this transfer. This is from the ephemera transfer set. I put that on, I put it in and done. This one is a very easy flip, very quick. Just all these frames are actually a very easy and quick flip. So 25 cents for the frame. And so let's say $1.50 altogether for the paint and the transfer, $1.50 and I could sell this for $12.95, which gives me a profit of $11.45. So this is a very plain four by six plastic frame. So we need to make this one a little prettier. So I'm using the Ankathis. Don't quote me on this pronunciation of this mold. Link will be below. Um, I put in these four little daisies on the side and painted them in uh, white swan and the pink, which is vintage pink. Now I'm gonna show you how to iron on a napkin so you get no wrinkles. So you're gonna do two coats of liquid patina, and let that dry. You're gonna take your napkin and then you're gonna put a piece of parchment paper on top. And I've got my iron set at the highest setting and then just iron it on. It doesn't take long for the liquid patina to heat up and fuse the napkin to the paper. So this didn't have any glass in it, so I do need to seal it. So I'm just gonna put a coat of liquid patina on it. Now, if it wrinkles up again, which it will, you just iron that back out. So I'm gonna sell this one for $8.95, and that gives me a profit of $7.45. Got the basket for 50 cents, and I got the Eiffel Tower for 50 cents. And I painted the basket in gray skies, and I'm just gonna highlight it with a little bit of white. And because this paint already has the sealer in it, it's done. I'm going to sell the basket for $6.95 and that gives me a profit of $6.45. I painted the tower in white swan and I'm going to sell it for $12.95. That gives me a profit of $12.45. I 
I got this wood candle holder for a dollar and I painted it in white swan. We're gonna decoupage the paper napkin to it. I use liquid patina. Now I like to use saran wrap to press out the wrinkles rather than my hands, less likely to rip the paper. I could sell this for $22, which gives me a profit of $20 after you factor in the paint, the napkin, the liquid patina. We still have a couple more projects to go, including the lamp. That is the most dramatic makeover in this video. If you are enjoying this video and finding value, I would love it if you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I got this picture for $2 and I absolutely love ballet pictures. I have since I was a kid. I did not like that frame, so I got this frame for $2 as well and we're gonna combine them together. So I'm going to paint the frame in white and then we're going to add a little bit of gray to the inside and we're gonna put this on together and it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So I paid $4, let's round it up to five to include the paint. I would sell this for $60, which gives me a profit of $55. This one is not for sale. This one is actually staying with me. I love this one. This $3 lamp was not my style, but I knew we could make it over into something really beautiful. And this is going to be the most dramatic flip of this video. I went ahead and I painted it in white swan and we're gonna decoupage it. Have you ever thought about decoupaging a lamp? Yes, you can decoupage anything. Now decoupaging on a round surface can be a little tricky if you are brand new at it, but don't let that stop you because you really can't go wrong with this. You're gonna get some wrinkles, that's no problem. We want this to look old anyways. So once I've got that on, I'm gonna use my saran wrap and press it in just to reduce some of those wrinkles. Now to get that extra little bit that's hanging over there, I'm just going to gently take my brush with some liquid patina on it and just soften the edge and then just gently tear it out. For the lampshade, we are going to paint it. I'm using the Cottage Color in white linen and I'm gonna give it two coats. Now this paint is fantastic on the lampshade on material. This is the second one I've done and I'm really loving the results. So once those coats are dry, now I actually could have gotten away with just one coat because we're gonna decoupage. If you were gonna just leave it white, I would probably do three good coats. I'm gonna add some liquid patina and we're gonna apply the napkin just like we do on all the other surfaces that we've done today. If you want more detailed full length videos on this kind of thing, let me know in the comments below. So to remove the extra napkin, I have liquid patina on my brush and I'm going to wet it, the seams, and then just gently pull and it'll just come right off. I already had this vintage trim in my stash and all I'm gonna do is hot glue this around the top and the bottom and this will be done. The lamp cost me three dollars. Let's just round it up to five for all of the extra little bits and pieces here. I could easily sell this for $65 which gives me a profit of $60. I invite you to watch to the end because I'm going to show you different ways that you can style all of these beautiful things that we made today and I'm also going to recap how much profit can be made with a $10 visit to the thrift store. Whether you're thrifting to make your own home beautiful or you are doing it to make a profit, we spent $10 and retail value of everything would be about $204, which ends up as $194 profit. Now keep in mind, every area is different and you might actually get more or less for some items. 
There's also many things to consider when it comes into that profit. And that would have to be a more detailed video in the future maybe. Maybe let me know in the comments below if that's something you would like. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I loved making it. Please let me know which one is your favorite. I love to hear it. And have an awesome day and we'll catch you on the next video.